two regulator, which is like a throttle on a modern car. Open it up and it goes faster. Shut it off and it slows down. The pedals, you've got the foot brake on the right, and these are your reverse pedals, so in the, at present it's in full forward gear. You push it to the floor and it's full reverse, and you want to go backwards. And this is what Stanley's called a hookup, or notches up the valve gear. You've got one notch there, which is standard for Stanley's, and I've fit it with a second position there, which is more in keeping with other forms of engine. And that third pedal is just to release the, the notch. You've got your gauges, you've got a steam pressure gauge, which at the moment is standing at 200 because it's been parked for a while. The engine works at 500. You've got fuel pressure gauge, which I run at 160. And this is the, the pilot tank gauge, which we use for starting, which is petrol. We start it on petrol and then turn it on the kerosene. On the taps, that's for the petrol, for starter fuel. That's kerosene for main fuel. That's the blower or stack vent, as Stanley's call it. This one is for the water lifter, for when we lift water out of streams and that with a hose. That one's a steam enema, which is for cleaning out the vaporizer. We can blast steam through the vaporizer and clean out any carbon that we've built. And this is just to turn on when I charge up the pilot tank. Little glass here is called a winker. And as you're travelling along, it records that the um, cylinder oil pump's working by a squirt of oil. You see every squirt of oil and it winks at you, basically. Hence the name. And then you've got your boiler water glass, which is a clear type glass. And uh, it's sitting there with half a glass at the minute. By opening that, it blows down the gauge glass. So I've checked the water levels accurate in the gauge. That one there is my second um, water pump. If I want the second pump turning on, I just shut the tap off, close the bypass, and it feeds water. The little one there, that one is for the water cooling on the rear brakes because Stanley's knew they had trouble with power brakes, so they have water cooled brakes. Steering column, we have a shut off and like an override on the fuel so I can shut the fuel off if I wish to and underneath the column is another handle which shuts off the uh, bypass for the first uh, pump so I can regulate the water. I can turn it, so if I turn that off it pumps water, if I turn it on it bypasses but it'll also if the second pump is turned on, that by opening this will bypass both pumps. You can see uh, in the top of the spoke hood here, we've got, you can see some boiler tubes there, there's 426 half inch diameter tubes in this boiler. This boiler is 18 inches diameter and 14 inches high. Also in the smoke hood I've got a feed water heater which improves the economy and I have a, a feed water heater on the exhaust as well. Round here. This device here is the steam automatic. It's a diaphragm on the top. There's a steam pipe feeds to the pressure gauge. So you've got boiler pressure on the top of the diaphragm. Underneath you've got a spring and a, a valve at the bottom that opens the fuel. And basically, as as your steam pressure reaches a 500 pound psi, pushes down on the diaphragm and shuts the fuel off. Very simple idea, but effective. Yep. But what we do, if I've got steam on, I can open the blower, and it sucks it through. Because it, because your flue, your flue goes down the back, goes right. across here, yeah. down there, and out the back. Yeah. So you're trying to make the smoke, as it were, go down over. Yes. You see, which. It can't do, so you open the vent at the top. Yeah, pulls it, yeah. But once you've got steam on, you can let it suck it yeah. through. Like. So I'll put a bit of steam on. What I do, I just check that. If that's stinking hot, which it is, yeah, you just literally you kind of feel how hot that is. Yeah. That's hot enough to go now, definitely. So, um, 
I've got a ball valve in here, which is an empty theft device. So you can screw the regulator down, but you never know somebody could take that off. Oh, cool, yeah. So by having an additional one under the bonnet, nobody can. Nobody can drive it. That's, that's your main steam feed out of the boiler, yeah? Yeah, that's the main steam feed out of the boiler. It goes down there and into a superheater on the top of the, the, top top of the boiler. Top yeah. 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 What I do, you see, I blow a bit of steam through the superheater all the time. The regulator's open a bit, the drain's open. So you've got steam going through your soup heater. So when you put your burner on, you're not going to fry your soup heater. Yeah, right. Because it's in the fire, unlike a central, it's not on the top of the so fire. It's in the flames. Fire. Yeah. In the flame. so I've turned my main shut off tap on for the petrol. So now we'll turn the petrol on and we'll see that start to go in. A minute or so till it goes clear. It's gradually fading away there. That's gone clear so it's nice and hot. So I turn the petrol off and I turn on the kerosene. It works 500 yeah. work pressure. Yeah. yeah, I'll stop it at about 400 so we can get in and start moving so that by the time you get to the bottom of the hill it's you know it's up to the 500. Yeah. Right, so uh, I've got it up to 400 pound there so we'll set off now and I'll put the burner back on. So away we go. Crack the burner back on. Turn on. Sam Richard had a ride in one, he says, I'm going to sell the Central, I'm going to buy it, Sam Richard. It's what everybody does with Centrals. When they get too old for a Sentinel, they buy a Stanley. I was talking to uh, Phil Moody this morning, he reckons this is definitely the future. Oh, oh it's the future. Never mind these electric cars we're no. just going to talk about. Steam's the future. Well, if I had developed these, it makes a wonder where it would have oh. all ended, you know. Well, another hundred years of development would yeah. be a lot different. You wouldn't have to stop for water or anything. Certainly folds up here all right. Oh, it's right, accelerating there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It would go a lot faster if, if the, the superheater was hot, you know, like yes. if the engine was hot yeah, and everything. Yeah. Like. Yes, yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't really care now. Do you want to do a lap? <laughs> ah, no. Right, we'll do a lap. Uh, I'll just touch you up there. Certainly hold a conversation without shouting or anything, yes. like on an engine. Fantastic, yeah. You look, you look 
The only noise you can hear there is the pumps yeah. working. If you shut the valves and the pumps are here, that's yeah, it's all you yeah. the valve. You can see, if I shut the pumps off, it's because you're yeah, pumping yeah. against 500 pounds. Oh, so yeah, yeah, doing yeah. a bit of work, mate. So you've, you've got no hot, you've got no little high gear like the Sentinel, it's just no, direct drive. Direct drive, yeah. it's like a, more like a, a Super Sentinel. Right. No gears, no clutch. Just open the regulator and go. But it's very high geared, it's 900 revs to the mile. Right. Gear, the engine's geared 1.4 to 1 to the back axle. Excellent. If you drop me off just at the co is in the empty. Alright. That's excellent.